Yo, what's up guys? It's Theo here. Welcome back to Learn HTML and CSS on Code Codecademy Part 6. Uh, let's go ahead and resume. So we are going to be on um, styling with CSS and fonts. So let's go ahead and uh, fire that up. And this has 16. And yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So let's just take a look at the web page. It uh, showcases different kinds of fonts. So you can sort of see as you scroll through and see the different ones that are being applied in the CSS. So let's keep going. And so it says, in style.css, change the font family, the main heading and subheading to Georgia. Let's go ahead and make a rule right here. Uh, and this is all this is going to do. We're going to say h1 and h2. We're just going to say font family. And then remember, here's our value. We're going to change this to Georgia. Let's go ahead and run this. Awesome. Now let's change the font family, the paragraph, to Helvet Helvetica. Font family. And we'll say Helvetica. Awesome. And run that. See how different aspects of the page have changed. Uh, next up, you can read about the different fonts. Serifs, extra details, and sans serifs. They're more normal, straight. Uh, so you can sort of read about this. Uh, extra details on the ends. Um, and then lack the extra strokes. So if you want something more uh, normal, more professional, maybe use a sans serif, but it really depends. Uh, next up, set the first fallback font, the main heading and subheading, to <coughs> Garamond. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to say Georgia, and then our fallback is going to be Garamond, and then our fallback to that is going to be serif. Let's go ahead and run that. Awesome. So the first fallback font of the paragraph to Arial, let's go ahead and change this to Helvetica, Arial, and Sans Serif. Sort of see the hierarchy there. Cool. Uh, next up, in index.html, you add a link to the Google font Roboto. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we create a link tag with an href. The href is going to be to that type. It's going to be text, CSS. And relation is going to be style sheet. And awesome. We'll close that off. And let's go ahead and run that. Cool. So now let's specify Roboto as the font family for the subheading um, and the paragraph. So we'll do h2 and paragraph. And we'll say font family. And we want to change this to Roboto. Let's run this. Cool. Um, oh, followed by sans serif, sorry. Sans serif. Let's change this. Um, font family for the subheading and the paragraph. We need to put it after. Okay, cool. Um, so now in index.html, <coughs> add an additional link to the Google font Playfair display. Okay, so. Let's copy this right here, and I'm going to change this out so we can get this uh, Google font in here. Let's run this. Cool. And in style.css, uh, specify Playfair displays the font family for the main heading. Okay. So, say h1 font family is going to be Playfair display, and that's going to be followed up by serif. Close that off. Let's run this. Cool. Next up, uh, we're going to install.css, set the size of the paragraph to 20 pixels. So we are going to just say, uh, say font size, 20 pixels. Okay, cool. Uh, next up, guys, um, this just shows you pixels, percentages, and M's. M's are more responsive, uh, the relative user unit of measurement. I would tell you personally in my day-to-day -day development I use pixels the most uh, again I'm I wouldn't say I'm like really like super front-end developer I'm full stack so uh, but you know if, if that's your job front-end you probably would get a lot more into this um, but you know I think for most things to be honest pixels can still do the trick sometimes you will use percentage like with images that's what I've most no notably used percentage with uh, or from using something like flex but uh, yeah uh, and then finally, in style.css, at the line height, this is the space between the lines 
of the paragraph element to 1.7 EM. So 1.7 EM, this is, so this is going to be relative, so this is going to be to its parent. So if we look in here in the paragraph, it's going to be relevant to the content. So whatever line height this is by default, it's going to be 1.7 relative to that. Let's go ahead and run that. Um, I think I did. So line height the paragraph element to um, oh, let me change this. Point seven EM. Awesome, cool. So uh, since this has sixteen, I'm gonna break this into two parts. So that's it for this one, guys. Next one will be coming up soon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, please subscribe, and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. See you in the next video. Take care.